St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner, so I'm getting into the spirit and trying my hand at a bit of Irish dancing. First, I needed to learn the steps. So, can you stand like this with your right heel touching your left toe? That, and you stand really straight with your arms straight by your side. That's it. And then after eight counts, you put your toe like that. Yeah. And then you take a big step. So like you go onto your front foot and then take a step. I don't have very good balance. <laughs> That's fine. Number two, the treble. So you tap your foot out. So as you sweep, get and touch the floor, and then you, as you bring it back, you tap the floor as well. Number three, the big move, called one, two, three. So you have your leg risen like that. You have to pretend you're jumping over a puddle. So you jump forward like that. And you take a step forward on your left leg, and you take a step back. Number four, a hop. So you hop and you ride like that like this. That's it, great. With all the steps in place, it was now time to learn the dance. With a short rehearsal time, putting the steps together was a challenge. And I also knew how to perform it on my own. The pressure was definitely on. Now for the result. Well, I think overall it was pretty successful. I won't be called up for river dance anytime soon, but I'll be up for a jig on St. Patrick's Day.